Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then and seeing that a large crowd was coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they for so many? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about five thousand in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered up them up and filled twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign th that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, John's gospel has seven signs and not miracles. And today's reading, when we usually hear it, we say it's a miracle of feeding the 5,000. But it's not a miracle as such. But when we read the gospel of John, this is one of the signs. The gospel text begins with this. It is a sign. And a sign is a greater reality pointing toward something greater. And what's the greater thing that this gospel passage is pointing to us? It's not about the multiplication of the bread and the fish. But it is about our Lord, Jesus, who is the greatest. This is the person of Jesus, the Lord, the divine master, who is now revealing himself to his people. And John in this gospel is, is leading us to see Jesus as the new Moses. Like Moses went up the mountain and he got them the Ten Commandments, Jesus today goes up the mountain to teach his people but he goes along with people. Moses does something divine with the help of God. The Red Sea is parted. Today, Jesus himself is God and he feeds the 5,000. A miracle. People grumble against Moses in the wilderness. They will now grumble against Jesus when we will hear him say that I am the bread of life that came down from heaven. My dear people, John wants us to see Jesus as the prophet, the new Moses. And that is what the, the word of God today ends with when people recognize him that this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. This is the sign. Today, if Jesus is the sign, the new Moses, the new prophet, our Lord and master, he wants to work with us. Yes, 
he fed the 5,000, but he needed Andrew and Philip. He needs you and me. Might be to feed the hungry, or might be to feed someone who is all alone, or might be to bring a smile on someone's face today. Might be your own self who are locked down or nailed to our beds, who can't go home to some or the other reason. There's this song we sing in the church, great things happen when God mixes with us. You see, when Moses and God mixed, the Red Sea departed. When David and God mixed, they defeated Goliath. Jesus mixed with Andrew and Philip fed the 5,000. What will happen when you and I mix with God? The onus is on us that we place our trust in the sign to the greater reality that is Jesus. Amen.